Your body is amazing, but sometimes it needs help. All over the UK, there are special teams of professionals trained to tackle medical mysteries. And not all of them are human. When I get ready in the morning, I barely give it a second thought. The task of putting on shoes and socks might seem easy to most of us, but for some people, this is a real challenge. I'm meeting 13-year-old Grace. Grace, how are you doing? Grace, like Ellie we met earlier, has cerebral palsy, a brain condition that affects muscle control and movement. In Grace's case, both her movement and speech are affected, and she often needs the use of a wheelchair to help her get around. Hang on, was Grace texting with her toes? Cool. Uh, what do you think you find harder to do in a day than, than I would? Anything to do with my hands, picking things up. Picking things up? Uh, Is it frustrating not to be able to pick things up, or...? Yeah, very frustrating. Apparently you have a special someone who helps you do stuff. Is that right? Yeah. Gary! Oh, hello. So who's this? Gary. Hello, how are you doing? Scooby isn't just cute. He's a professionally trained assistance dog whose job is to help Grace. After seeing assistance dogs on BBC's Children in Need, Grace knew that one would help improve her life. So she contacted the charity Dogs for Good. Scooby helps Grace in everyday tasks. He can open doors... Thank you. ..pull off her socks... Wow! And look, he even helps her get out of bed in the morning. That's amazing. <laughs> so, Scooby, up, up. <laughs> Does he make the bed as well? No. Dogs don't do that. Mum Simone has seen a massive difference in Grace since Scooby arrived. He's a calming presence for her. If she's in a bad mood, if she's come home from school in a bad mood, he meets her at the door and he just makes her laugh straight away because he sniffs the wheelchair for her leftover lunch. There's a lot of responsibility having a dog for a kid as well, so you're kind of forced to be a bit more independent. Grace will wash Scooby's food bowl, she'll wash his water bowl, make sure he's got fresh water every day. Scooby also encourages Grace to go outside and be more active. Mm. Has he changed how much you get out of the house? Yeah. Before I would only go out maybe once a week. You go out of the house once a week before you got Scooby? Yeah. Wow. And now how often do you go out of the house? Every day. That's a massive difference. And do you feel better because of that? Yeah. Get you better at football? Yeah. Scooby makes such a difference. He helps Grace's independence, he keeps her fit, and he's her best mate. Have you got any nicknames for Scoop, Grace? BDF. BDF? What does that stand for? Best dog forever. Best dog forever? I think that's probably right. It's great to know assistance dogs like Scooby can make such a difference. It's amazing to see how helpful Scooby is. I wonder if he could take over from Dr Chris for a while. What do you think, Scoob? Oi! And now to our lab, Whoa. where we do incredible experiments. Oh, it's disgusting. To show you how your body works. So watch this. Just don't try anything you see here at home. To kick off today's lab, we're using this machine to see what's in our breath. Your breath has lots of gases in it. Some are smelly, like hydrogen sulphide. It's made by the bacteria that live in your mouth, and it's what makes the bad smell when you let one rip. When it's mixed with the food and drink you've eaten, it can make your breath honk. Let's look at Chris's results. Chris, you have detectable levels of fishy cabbage smell in your breath. Oh, nice. Thanks, Sand. But actually, your breath can tell you much more than what you've had for dinner, as we're going to show you. What's going on? Who's this? This is Daisy. Am I being replaced? What are your qualifications? Son, you're not being replaced. Daisy's here to help us with today's experiment. Because your breath can reveal a huge amount about you. It can be the first sign of many illnesses. And, like your fingerprints, your breath is unique. No one else has the same breath. <sighs> it smells like doggy snacks. No. But I did find some lovely biscuits on the floor on the way in. <coughs> Were they in a bowl? Yes. Did the bowl say Daisy on it? Yes. <sighs> Now, everyone has bad breath at some point, even Daisy. But even if your breath isn't bad, it still has a smell, and it's the smell that contains information about you and your health. 
So, if you have asthma, even though you can't smell asthma, your breath will have more nitric oxide in it, which you can detect. Or, if you have diabetes, your breath may have more of a compound called acetone in it. It's the same chemical that's in nail varnish remover. In fact, there's a whole range of medical conditions that can be detected on your breath. But not by us, even though we're doctors. Not by specialist medical researchers. Not even by complicated equipment. That's why Daisy is here. She's a specially trained smell dog tour. Daisy's been trained by Claire to detect serious illnesses like cancer in a person's breath. So, Claire, how does Daisy do it? Well, when people are unwell, they smell different. So some people have kindly donated their breath samples onto this tube. So they breathe in that, and then the, the smelly molecules in their breath stick inside this sponge here. Absolutely. And then what we do is, in training, we show this sponge to Daisy, and we've been able to train her to tell us if somebody has a very serious disease. Time to see Daisy in action. Now, we've laid out three samples of breath here. And one of the samples is from a patient with a serious illness. Now, the one from the patient with the illness... Chris! You can't say in front of Daisy. She'll hear. She's going to find it herself. So, she's a dog. She doesn't speak English. It's sample A. Now, Claire, should we set off Daisy and see if she can find it? Daisy! Seek, seek! She's done it. And unbelievably, it took her just six seconds. That's amazing. There was no debate. There was no. She didn't even have to check one of the samples. Yeah, she yeah. knew. As soon as she smelt that odour, she sits down and tells us she's found it. So, while Daisy is special, she's not actually got any more smell receptors than any other dog. Take Sooty and Spike here. Although they might be better at sniffing out where their ball is than detecting illness, inside their noses they have 220 million smell receptors, whereas we only have 5 million. And there are other dogs like Daisy who've been trained to sniff out different medical conditions. So if someone has diabetes, for instance, and they have the wrong level of sugar in their blood, the dog can actually detect that and warn them to take their medication. So although your breath can sometimes smell bad, its smell can also reveal vital information about your health. Claire, that was brilliant. Thank you so yeah, much for coming you, in. And Daisy, you did such a good job. You understand, don't you? Ouch. Your body is amazing, but sometimes it needs fixing. All over the UK, there are special teams of professionals trained to tackle medical mysteries. And some you might not expect. All hospitals try and reduce stress, but this particular hospital calls on the services of a very special expert to do that. Someone with lots of blonde hair, bad breath and a wet nose. Meet Golden Retriever Nala. She's worked as a pet therapy dog for 14 years and is known at this hospital as Dr. Dog. <coughs> Animal therapy dogs like Nala need to be calm, obedient and really intelligent. Not any old mutt can make the cut. Two of Nala's biggest fans are Spike and his sister Poppy. Spike has been in and out of hospital for most of his life. He and Nala have become good friends. What's your favourite bit of Nala to stroke? I've got two. Go for it. My, her ears and her tummy. And her tummy. How does it make you feel when you see Nala? Uh, happy. And Poppy, how do you feel? Because you come into hospital a lot to see your younger brother. Yeah, I think Nala helps you relax. Nala, do you feel happy when you see Spike? Yes! <laughs> Nala makes new friends every day. Harvey has just popped in for a checkup. While you've been with Nala, have you been agonising about your appointment? I've just been thinking about the dog, really. <laughs> Dogs are, like, really cuddly, and they just look really cute. Once you've petted her, we ask everyone <laughs> to spray their hands. Nala has a bottle of germ-busting gel attached to her collar. Do you know why that's important? You might get germs if you put your hand in your mouth. So you've got to wash your hands. That is exactly right. There's no doubt that this professional pooch can put a smile on your face, but can Nala really have a physical effect on a patient's health? Well, let's put Dr Dog to the test. <laughs> to help me, here's Miracle, who's in hospital having kidney dialysis treatment. 
Can you explain to me how it all works? The machine can clean my blood. So the machine is taking the place of your kidneys. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is, while you're having your dialysis, I want to measure your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to bring in Nana the dog mm -hmm. and we're going to see what happens to your blood pressure. A blood pressure test is a simple way to check if a patient is stressed. Being stressed out can lead to high blood pressure, okay. which means that your heart is under extra strain. It's a miracle. At the moment, your blood pressure is 116 over 67. Those numbers mean Miracle's blood pressure is already within the normal range. But let's see if Nala can make Miracle even more relaxed. After a few minutes of stroking our happy hound, we take Miracle's blood pressure again. So, Miracle, your, your blood pressure has gone from 116 over 67 to 105 over 59. So, although it's still within the normal range, her blood pressure has gone down, meaning Miracle is more relaxed and less stressed. The science is clear. Not only does Nala make people smile, she also physically improves a patient's health. For me, that is totally amazing that we can bring an animal in and just through affecting Miracle's mood, we can have a really big effect. Now, stress over a long time can be bad for your body, but dogs like Nala are amazing at relieving it. So every single person she's met today, including me, has had a little boost. I feel very relaxed. Thank you, Nala.